Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? Welcome back to another Unicorn Overlord stream. I just am really keen to play this some more. And I had a lot of fun yesterday, but only getting one mission done is like, ugh, I want to get further into the game. So I want to do some big missions today and crack some stuff out. Um, thanks for tuning in, Driver, Noick, um, Bane Ironhand as well. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Got a few other people there as well, but I won't call you out if you don't want me to. So I'll just only call up chatters. Um, like I've got access to a library of um, DMC creative license free music I can use on stream, which is why I'm messing around with more tracks at the moment. And I think it's a lot of fun. I, I do like getting pumped up with some nice synthwave before stream. It was a really nice thing to do when I was playing Armored Core 6. Uh, it really fit the theme really nicely. Is the audio loud enough for the game? You can hear the game audio in the background. Oh, so let's get the game up and running. So we've got a couple of things to think about this morning. Uh, last time we beat a pretty hard mission and we got our hands on some cool stuff. And among that, we got our hands on, where is it? Um, I think it's all the way over here. Yeah, we got our hands on three really cool, well, how should I pronounce it, Noek? Is it Noek? Nook? I'm just pronouncing it basically how I would in English. So we've got the Crude Tacit here, which gives a user 20, plus 20% 20 physical attack at the start of a battle, but it uses a PP, which that might actually be good to claim because we discovered that giving an extra PP to Albin did not give him an extra attack at the end of a combat. We've got the Familiar's Choker, which gives an ally plus 50% magical attack for PP. Oh, hey, T-Ram, how's it going? Um, not early, I'm bang on time um, for minus 50% on the user, which is kind of cool. I just can't fit that in anywhere at the moment. Hey, Clockwork, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we've got the power belt, right? This looks really cool. 
grants the user a buff to endure one lethal blow. Do you know who that might be amazing on? It could be very good on our rogue, but then again, he hasn't got a lot of PP. But what we could do is give him an extra PP, give him the power belt. That means he'll lose his hit points, but he'll be even harder to kill. And I might mess around with that. So let's do that first of all. I'm doing great, Clockwork. I hope you're doing well as well. I hope everyone else is doing great too. So if we go into here to Travis, right? Travis currently has a Silk Star Scarf, which gives him plus 20 evasion, and the Vitality Talisman gives him plus 10 HP. A couple of early, it's early from your notification? Interesting. Um, but what I could do is I could swap this out for the... I need to steal it off um, this guy here. The lap is pendant, so we'll just unequip this from him because it does nothing on him. Uh, that's remove. So I could give you the lap is pendant. No, not the lap is pendant. The um, how can I sort unequipped? Not equipped. There we go. All right, so we've got the lap is pendant here. That gives you an extra PP. And then if I change out the vitality talisman for the uh, crude tacit. That gives you war cry. Okay, I will. No, thank you for letting me know. Oh, T ramp. <laughs> All right, we'll get the ladies coming. Don't worry. Um, well, that's what I'm working out right now, Tyler. I wanted to do, do it on stream. So this is what I'm thinking, right? We give it to Travis. Travis gets plus twenty physical. No, that's the wrong, the wrong item. I do not want to give him plus twenty physical attack. Uh, it's not the crude tacit I want to give him. It is the power belt. Um, and I think we just want to do this at the start of the battle, right? Because I don't think he's going to get time otherwise. So we just do... Daytime, nighttime. Can I not just do start of battle? You know, size, own condition. First action. Activate only on the user's first action of battle. Skill will not otherwise activate otherwise. Cheers to you. That came through really quick, didn't it? Bring on the Scalades. <laughs> the Scalades. Um, you know what? I could activate it if there are enemy archers present. Because they're the ones that are going to kill him. So if there's enemy archers um, there, he activates toughness. Or if his HP is less than 50%. I think that's how that works. Or, was oh, like Nook? Ah, thanks to Ram. Does that mean he will only activate it if his HP is 50% and there are archers present? That's the question. I think that does work that way, Cool S. Also, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. So what do we think? Does this mean that if, if there's archers present and there are... I think I'm just going to... I'm going to kill this. I just have our enemy archers present. Um, and maybe we'll do... What's the other type of um, enemy that would do... I think that's something we need to worry about. We'll just go at enemy archers present. So that's our new setup for Travis. Now, we also need to work out who's gonna get the plus AP item. And I think the best person for that might actually be um, Berenice. So, if, hang on, I need to edit her, there we go. So the moment she's got a brown beret and a warrior's medallion, the brown beret gives a plus 8% physical attack. But let's actually swap that out for the Carnelian Pendant, which gives her an extra attack, gives her an extra AP. And I honestly think this will be nuts. Just We don't even need to change her setup for that. She just has two extra attacks. Oh, all right, Driver. Thanks for dropping by. Good to see you. Uh, I was trying to catch up with chat. Chat's nuts already this morning. Uh, when will YouTube add a reply? Oh, that's a good point, Kalas. That would be very useful. Tom Nook loans. All right, so Nook is Nook. That's what I'm going to call you until I hear that uh, audio file. Also, hey, Miss Apps. I don't think I said hi to you. Thanks for dropping in. Um, we actually had Driver do a first when the stream started, but they beat the bot. Um, that's everything I really wanted to go through. The other thing to point out is to add a fourth person to a unit, we need 50 um, AP. So, we 50 honor, sorry. We're at 48 right now. So we need a little bit more honor before we can increase the unit size to 40. Also, the dog has started barking in the background. She should be asleep right now. I'm gonna let her bark and she should go to sleep in a second because it is 6 a.m. and she should not be awake. She's had her breakfast, she's gone out to the bathroom. Which could let her go back to sleep. Let's get this first mission underway. Who are you? I'm not in the mood for vagrants today. <laughs> Adele, is it truly you? Well, look who it is. If you're here, then the guy with you must be. Oh, Pupper's not happy. 
Good to see you're just as proud and noble as I remember you. You're much unchanged yourself, friend. I'd recognize that mop you call hair from a furlong away. This is Adel, your highness. Adel, not Adel. A trusted friend and knight of the same order as I. It's a pleasure, truly. Forgive me, Prince Elaine. I never would have asked. Is that a tramp strap, TRM? I know it was you. Still, you must have had good reason. Would you care to apprise us of the situation? Gladly. It all began when the province was met with a new lord, a despicable man by the name of Gaston. Under the false guise of taxation, he and his lackeys have plundered food from every citizen in the land. Either you pay and go hungry, or you don't, and are carted off to a life of slavery in one of his cruel labor camps. This guy's really having it up. I love it. Press the banquet of freedom they long deserved. The banquet of freedom. Stone's head will serve as the centerpiece. Adele, I appreciate your enthusiasm. We've not come to make merry. Right, right. As you know, the Ashen Blues province sketches far and wide. So apparently, this is a really big mission. Nord Plague Town lies at the center of the territory, which stretches up to Facon Town and Fort Grammont. There's also a decent sized garrison over to the east, too. Yes, it's a big province. This is going to be a big battle. With how spread out things are, we have no hope of reclaiming the region with a few men. So I wanted to ask your highness, would the Liberation be willing to lend us a soldier or three to help the cause? Doing so would mean a great deal to me as well, my prince. This place is my home after all. Hmm, the territory is in a pivotal strategic location in Corneria. We'll surely have to reclaim it sooner or later. And hearing how deeply the people here are suffering, we would do well to liberate them as soon as possible. Adele, we will march with you and help the Ashen Blue reclaim what is rightfully theirs. You have my deepest gratitude for this, Your Highness. Please allow me to fight beside you. I'll see these knaves run through, I promise you that. Oh, one thing I haven't done is I haven't equipped the Sanguine Spear, so let's very quickly, let's very quickly do that. Who should we give the, the Sanguine Spear to? Let's just tell the names of this town again. Uh, town I need to attack, other town, and big town. That's the name of their names. Um, I think I might give the Sanguine Spear to Chloe, because Lex's unit... Mm, or, or it's either Chloe or Hodrick. But at the moment, Hodrick has the ability to hit uh, flying units, which is really powerful. The only other targets for the Sanguine Spear... Hey, Nort Nortornis, thanks for joining in. Indeed, happy Saturday, Sunday, everybody. I could also give it to Clive. Let's give it to Clive. I think I just want to keep boosting this unit as much as possible. That gives him sanguine attack. Actually, I don't. I actually don't want to replace the standard attacks. Um, the standard attacks are so good. I'm just going to give it to Chloe because it is a it is a boost for Chloe, and she only has well long thrust isn't bad. So what we do is we give her Crimson Sarissa, and we just say if your HP is um, uh. Own condition, own HP is less than 75%, use Sanguine Attack, otherwise Long Thrust. None of them really tire, they're either dead or they're winning, that's kind of the problem. Right, let's just quickly save the game. So we'd have to go do that cutscene again if I fail, which I don't think happens, but we'll just be sure. And let's jump into this incredibly big fight. Uh, Griffinites and Knights, once granted Tommy by Carnelia, the province of the Ashen Blue is now governed by a Zenorian general named Gaston. Um, Alongside Adele, a Knight of the Order, the Liberation seeks to reclaim this land. And they should get us honest to upgrade units to size 4. Which is something we really need. So again, thank you, Tiram. I don't think I thanked you enough. Oh, Gaston looks like a... Well, at least this Gaston's wearing a piece of armor. Indeed, my lord. But our subjects' cries grow louder by the minute. They claim to be on the brink of survival as it is. If, perhaps, we lowered our tariffs... And bring in less provisions? I'll have you hanged for even suggesting it! Well, this guy's cool. Under no Not. circumstances are you to slack on collections. Do you hear me? But, of course, my lord. I meant no offense. And should I... <laughs> That's exactly what was in my head, Nortonius. Starve the people like Gaston. <laughs> Work a bull cut like Gaston. Lord Gaston! What is it now? Rebels, my lord. And they've set up camp nearby. 
Surely the liberation. Come to liberate my... Yes, we're here for your pantry. <laughs> Mobilize all soldiers in our command. I'll teach these rats what becomes of those who infest my kitchen. And I'll do so personally. Okay, this guy, has, this guy is um, gluttony, the sin. No, no one oppresses towns like us, Dan stars out men like us. I can't sing, I don't know why I'm trying to. That's a great song everyone's coming up with. Incredibly callous like us, Don. Ooh, age, you're gonna get stabbed. Crushes the people under his dirty boot heel like Gaston. My singing has woken the dog up again. I don't think we'll be getting Gaston on side somehow. If they plan to wrest this food away from me, they'll have to prize it from my cold, dead fingers. Gaston. All right, what's this combat going to be like? Guest of the community campaign ship. Yeah, puppies, puppies. Okay, we strike for Gaston, the lord of these lands. He's in the way in the garrison, the edge of the province. Okay, two, three places to capture. Hold a moment. I've seen those cavalry somewhere before. And they were knights of the ashen blue, same as us, but those days are long past. Indeed, and yet they bear no blame for now standing as Gaston's vassals. I'm sure they're suffering under his rule just like everyone else. We might even be able to talk them into joining us. I suppose it's worth the attempt, if nothing else... Adele has joined the... So how do I get to talk to them? Okay. Oh, hey, Amy. How's it going? Good to see you. And hey, Naughty Jug, too. Yes, he is absolutely obsessed with food. Okay, Jay, Adele joined the Liberation Army. Liberation's command post is captured. I might need to go and just check on the puppy. I don't know what is she is complaining about. She should be sleeping. She always sleeps at this time. Stage start. All right. First things first, I've got to set to auto pause. Let's have a look around. So we can talk to this unit here. Um, I'm guessing we need to talk to them with a knight unit, with Clive or Adele. And there's all four of these units might be able to join us. We have a town here with some archers in it, which shouldn't be too hard to capture. There's also um, Putisel ruins here. Uh, then we've got more soldiers. We've got a archers here in the Duclin ruins. We've got a Define Effigy Rain. Revive and heal all um, nearby allied units. About 100 horse frux. <laughs> then we've got a whole bunch of other units. We've got another sub uh, ruins. We've got, what town is this? Fort Grimond up here, which doesn't link, oh, it does actually, no. Fort Grimond doesn't link around to anywhere, but it does give us a location to head down south and capture Nordplag town, which we then use to push. This is a big fight. What we're gonna have to do, I think, is make sure that we have our command post garrisoned, because I've got a feeling we're gonna be dealing with uh, Griffin Knight attacks over these mountains, and if I'm not prepared for them, we're gonna be in big trouble. Let's get um, a lanes unit deployed so we've got Clive on the battlefield. So we get both of these two to talk. I'm going to get our... Do I want our healers on straight away? I probably don't want our healers straight away. Um, I think more gains unit will actually be useful here and it will get them some experience. And then I'm going to use our last point to bring Hodrick's unit on to defend the command post. I'm worried about that too, Amy Mason, a little bit. Something weird like that. Let's get this group moving forward. Say the word. I ride at once. What are we doing? And the plan is to try and get you know more gains unit as much experience as possible. But we'll get get Adele to talk to these guys. When we're out, uh, we're we'll just waiting for them to get out of archer range. And we'll talk to them. Cease your advance, proud knight. It's me, Adele. Adele, I thought you'd fled our province entirely. I had, but I travel now with the lost son of Queen Elenia and the rightful heir to the throne, His Highness Prince Elaine. With his army at our backs, we finally have a chance to reclaim our land. Will you join us in that fight? That it is truly him leading your march? I admit, you come with some timing. We've grown weary of suffering Gaston's heartless rule. If you would allow us to shed the shame of fighting at his side, we would be more than honored to stand at yours. Cool. Oh, that just converted all of them. Damn. T. Rem says, No one oppresses towns <laughs> like Gaston. Starves out men like Gaston. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Hold just a moment, my prince. The cavalry units ahead are rife with seasoned veterans. I suggest we just our formations to counter their strength before advancing. My great shield is more than capable of warding their attacks, your highness. As for the attack, you can leave that to me and my griffin here. 
Thank you both. Your aid should be more than enough to stop these cavalry. Okay, so we've just picked up a whole ton of allied units out of nowhere. About time. Um, I'm going to bring you guys down here where you can hopefully lend some aid here. You guys take this ruin. Elaine, come up here as well. We're definitely going to take this town with ease. Getting all these allied units is huge, but they're going to push us hard. Because they're going to add a lot of um, pressure to this mission. Okay, I want you to swoop in and take this town. Order complete. Okay, we've captured the ruins. Got a dual protection. I kind of want to capture the town before they do, but it looks like they're going to get it. Okay, they capture the town. We'll get you to ga capture the garrison. Um, and let's, I guess, start moving forward. You're not going to do any damage to them, but Elaine's crew should... How can I assist? Consider it done. It really does feel like it, doesn't it? It's... Okay, there is the Valor point I did. No matter how much gold I managed to earn, every last coin is taxed away by that tyrant Gaston. I beg you, sirs. Rid our lines of his insatiable greed. That should help you to pursue... That's exactly what I'm thinking, Mishaps. It's like, here's a save point. Here's a med kit. Here's a shotgun. And I'm like, oh, no. By the way, you'll find a divine effigy not too far ahead here. They say it bears an arcane power, but I've never confirmed such rumors for myself. Perhaps it could serve some use to you, though. Okay, that's how we keep our allies alive, right? Let's get these guys moving forward. Can you attack here? Uh, you'll take a lot of damage, but you will take those archers out, and I'm pretty happy with that. That will get you some experience. So go for this, and then let's deploy our... I can't deploy from here, so I have to deploy from here, okay. Let's deploy um, our Bane's unit, and then we'll start getting our... What we're going to do after that is we're going to start getting our extra units online as well. There's a first left, I think. Okay, Adele's unit's not going to do a lot here, but we'll at least see them in combat. All of you are just hoarding so many points at the moment, and none of you are spending any of them. It's getting me really concerned. Adele, this is not a particularly good formation you've got built here. I mean, there's a lot of healing in it. Damn, that was a big crit. They somehow won that. I don't know how. Let's pull you back a little bit. We'll get a lane's unit in here. Um, there's a lot of units coming in, actually. This is a, a big push the enemy are doing. Um... We'll take this fight. I'm here to help. I love Guard Hunter, it's such a great skill. Not so good there from uh, Salting Lance though. Oh, Magic Missile, cool, that's the first Magic Missile of the campaign. Guard this. Oh good, you just dodge it, that's even better. Hey, it's Austral. Yeah, unfortunately they all got sucked up. Feels bad, man. <laughs> I didn't know first what said. Feels bad, man. <laughs> okay, let's pull back no, a little bit. Vessel H says, you want me to spend? Then Don't have this motivation. Yeah. Also, TTS, I swear, if you'll say my Nook wrong. I think it said it right, um, Nook. Uh, yeah, we'll take this fight. Go you have to put in how much money you want to put into the high school S. I love that everyone just comes in heist and loses all of their cash. I think there's a minimum um, of 50 or 100. Oh no, you got enough. Get ready to see a lot of fights with cavalry. Oh, she's up again. Okay, Lane's unit is just sucking up all the XP here, so I kind of want to get them out of the fight. Um, I really want to get this unit into the fight, if I can. Yep. Let's just pull this unit right back. Let's get you guys involved as well. You can finish off some units. Although you're not actually my troops, so I don't know if the experience carries over. But you are low level. I'm going to just bring you to here. This unit here is a monster. Big nice hit, nice. Embarrassing. Very embarrassing. Oh, they've got—they've got too much. They're too high a level as well. We really need to get some people leveled up here. 
Um, what if I get you guys to attack these guys? Um, we've got enough now to bring in some support units. Since we're not taking a lot of damage, I think I'm going to bring in Rolf's unit. Get some archers on the go. Get them to support everybody. We'll please pop them in the ruins so they're not using up stamina. Um, Oban's unit here, or Elaine's. It doesn't really matter who I send in. We'll just skip the battle because it's an easy win. Yeah, I know the pupper's barking. She needs to go back to bed. She can hear me talking. I don't think she wants to be here, but she's supposed to be sleeping. If she doesn't go to sleep now, she's going to be very grumpy for the rest of the day. Um, let's bring you in on these guys. You're moving forward. There's just such a mess of units here. It's a little bit confusing. Okay, they're coming in on them. This will get them some experience. Good luck on the heist, everybody. Oh, wow. We've got quite a few people who came through. He went in with 400 there. Not a joke with 400. And they made it out as well. t rim finally went down. Good she dodged that. Shame that wasn't quite enough damage to kill them. t rim has finally fallen. After hundreds of successful heists. Big hit. That's some experience. That's good. And even a little heal. We really need to get that... We need to get that um, knight leveled up. Get you moving forward. Let's get a land unit moving forward again. Let's get these archers moving forward as well. Actually, do they have extra range when they're in the garrison? I don't think they do. Does this give extra range? No stamina consumption, no wait time. Stage damage reduction 50%. No, they don't get any extra range, so we'll bring them forward too. Okay, um, I'm actually thinking that we may be okay. I, I can actually probably undeploy um, from here, and we can probably deploy our clerics. <laughs> Thanks for the touch bonus. For I guess the touch bonus for T-Ram. There's so many units here, and this this smash of units, it's a little bit overwhelming. But they just came back to life out of nowhere. We're gonna get more games unit to take these guys on and get some more experience. Not quite a level up yet for the, for the knight, but they're going down, which is nice. All right, Abeju is going to hit these guys. I think they'll wipe them out with no problem. Yeah, that's fine. Can you guys ride for these guys? You're not going to do enough damage to them. That's a shame. Let's get you to ride for here then. So I'll get you to go here and then here. And we'll heal all of the allies that we've got. Also, this unit, where are they? This unit needs to rest. So let's send you back to the ruins. And everyone else is moving forward. Okay. Commands are on the Discord. They're also available by doing the exclamation mark help command should get them to appear. I'm not sure why it's not worked there. <laughs> Good dodging. One heavy slash of 54 damage. And then she goes again for another heavy slash. Oh, she missed on that one. But oban has got it. The squad's nuts. Okay, let's keep them moving this way. Um, did I have someone? No, I want Arvin's unit, I think, to wipe out the archers. Alright, you guys pray and heal all of our allies. Revive and heal all, yeah. Because these guys are all damaged, so that will help them bring back their team. We've got one Valor point available as well. I can't deploy from here. No. Um, let's get... Let's bring Lex's unit to the battlefield. They will know what hit them. What's up with Frostbot? Why is it not doing anything? Let me just quickly check if it's crashed. I'll be two seconds. Um, let me try... Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. No, the bot seems to be working okay. Weird. 
Or maybe it's only working for me. That might be the problem. There's nobody heading across the mountains, right? No. They're going to take some damage here, but they're going to get absolutely wiped out, so that's fine. It did hit. It just took a second to kick into him. It's all good. Damn, those guaranteed hits. He used toughness, which is good. So he'll survive on one hit point, but he won't be able to dodge the last one, unfortunately. Yeah, he won't be able to dodge the last guaranteed hit. Oh. Sad violin worked, but points isn't working. No, I don't. Yeah, it's working now. I guess it just took a second to kick in. Oh my god, killing chain is just going nuts. Toughness may meant that we are now immune to archers. Oh, she missed with the last hit on the killing chain. Oh no, she's going in again. She's got another AP. <gasps> okay, we have actually made our land snacked disgustingly powerful. She is now insanely powerful. Okay, I think I need to actually move everybody else up because um, all of my units are falling behind. I'm ready. Understood. Did you need me? Also, the puppy is really unhappy. I think I need to check on her. You got it. I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to check that the puppy is okay. I'm going to make sure she's got water and everything. I will be uh, just a couple of seconds. Oops, that's the wrong one. That's the thing I want. I'll be two seconds. Okay, she just wanted some attention. Hopefully she's gonna to go to sleep now. Um, so tactical isn't working. That's because it's tack brill, not tactical. It's uh, tack brill. It's this is this is the command. I'll put it in the I'll put it in the console. It's this. So I need to fix that. Huh? That didn't even. Oh, it's it's one L even. No. It's from Hamilton. <laughs> I cut that myself. It's not particularly good. All right, let's keep going. Um, all right, where are we looking at here? We've got just this massive Zerg rush of units, which is a little bit overwhelming to keep in control of. Uh, okay, let's just keep pushing forward. You guys just stay there. And, ooh, 5,000 war, war bucks. That's cool. This is going to be a bit of a rammy. Um, those guys are moving fast. I'm just going to skip this battle. There's no point in running the battle. Could have run for a healing assist there, but I think we're okay. All right, cool. Let's have a good one. I'll catch you later. Thanks for coming in. Um, we're just a little bit behind all of these units. Can you guys actually run out and run down these archers? Yeah, run down the archers for me. They need to die. Do your worst. Got that, t I will get that updated after the stream. Fifty-seven crit. That's actually really good. There's so much passive healing in this squad. It's like all healing, no damage, really. You don't need a cleric and a soldier, I don't think. Oh, and then you miss with the assaulting lance. It's just very sad. Just keep pushing those archers back. I want them wiped out. Uh, I just need you to like go here and then here. My steed is swifter than the wind. Oh god, that was. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just let that auto auto play. Took three. It's gonna take three attacks to kill a unit of archers, which is a little bit annoying. But at least they're not taking any damage. Really say the word. 
I ride at once. I'm just worried about units flying over the mountains and backstabbing me later in the fight, so I'm going to keep one Vanna Point back so I can deploy Hodrick if I need to. Although I actually also have an item that teleports a unit, so I could probably just drop a Hodrick on the battlefield. Okay, you are now really tired, so come back here. And then I've, I've expected the knights just to do the work. Uh, they're recovering, they're recovering. And I can't do anything, the knights are just gonna smash through that guy. Let's bring all of my main units forward. Uh, that includes this unit here, which is pretty much back to full health. Um, Rolf's unit can set up behind them, and Sharon's unit can set up here. Is that everybody moving? Except for these guys who are going to rest and recover. Cool. Do you get rest and recovery here? No, you don't. Um, and then they are also recovering stamina as well, so they can just chill there. <laughs> these knights are actually getting bullied. Uh, oh, cool. And a fight for Lex's unit. Let's see how they go. When the enemies start using shamans a lot, it's going to get really hard. Like, the shamans are uh, pretty crazy. No level up there, unfortunately. We know you're awesome, Lex. It's all good. We know how cool you are. All right, let's get our team moving forward. Let's get you guys on here for stamina recovery. Order complete. Oh, Elaine's unit is just going to murder this unit of archers. Already on it, Noak, but Noak, but thank you. It's a big hit for our good friend um, Elaine there. God, I'm starting to struggle with how many characters we have. 75 crit, damn. The Renault theme. To keep everyone moving forward. It's basically just a, a charge. Time is at hand. Now then. Come then. You don't stand. You face me. Might as well just, it doesn't really matter who does these fights because we're not getting any experience from them, so we're just gonna bash through them as fast as we can. I should have just skipped this actually. Okay, they're nearly dead. <laughs> It's good to know that's possible, uh, Nook. Oh, she's up again. Damn. She's just not happy about me having fun without her by the sounds of it, unfortunately. I can't even get my archers in range because we're moving forward at such a pace. Uh, Elaine's going to need a rest in a minute. If I come in with ranged assist here, they're going to wipe out. Cool. I want to get some kills on Lex's unit. Oh shoot, I didn't put Scarlet into a squad tier, you're right, I completely forgot. We might put her in a lane squad, um, just for the romance option. After this battle, we'll have enough to do that. Well remembered, I completely forgot. Chloe doing some good damage with that Sanguine Spear. And a level up for Chloe too. Oh, that was a terrible level up, Chloe. Okay, I'm going to rest Elaine's unit. We'll keep moving forward with Lex's unit on these guys. Um, Rolf's unit needs to come forward to about here. Albin's unit, I want to start moving towards the, the ruins here. And then we're going to use a healing rain on everybody in a minute as well. We'll just auto-resolve this battle. Good work. Okay. So we need to take this town. We also need to set up a blocking position in front of these enemies here. So I'm going to put um, Lex here. I'm going to put Chloe here. I'm going to put Rolf. I'm basically putting them in the forest so they're out of the way. One thing I'm worried about is that um, these knights are just going to come racing past everybody. And they're just going to keep pushing down to the south, which is a little bit concerning. You guys are back to full, so let's bring you to here. And I want you to pray. No, they're not, they're not siblings. They're not siblings. They grew up together, but they're not siblings. So, uh, what ready? 
on it. Just keeping trying to keep track of everything that's happening here. I'm here. You don't stand a chance. Only got the healing assist, not the ranged assist. That's annoying. Exactly, you're right out of tier M. We need to make sure we've got the harem building going on. How embarrassing. Big hit there, that's nice. Are you okay? If we had a finisher attack, we would have been able to take that squad out, but sadly we don't. Uh, we've got these guys coming for us. We only get one attack in a second. But let's finish these guys off. And then I think we need to reroute Albin to here to make sure that he's in range in time. To protect. He needs to, he needs to get close to Lex. We can get Lex to attack and then pull away. And then Lex needs to rest. What we can do is we can get Lex to capture that temple up there. And that will actually get him some free stamina. And then we can get Albin to fight these guys. Oh yeah, okay. And I want to drop a healing rain about here. And then you guys can move forward. No, no, no. I want you to move forward to down here. I need Rolf to move to about here. I need uh, Sharon to move to about here. So they're covering everybody. Looks like the knights are going for this town. Hopefully they don't get wiped out by those Griffin Knights on the way, which I think might happen. Oof, I want to see this just because I want to see just how much damage um, she could do. Uh, Bernice can do. Oh, so cool, the weather effect actually transfers over into combat. That's awesome. God, the puppy's so unhappy today. I might need to go and just bring her into this room, which I don't really want to do. But she's not going to settle otherwise, I don't think. Wow, 77 crit. Alright, two seconds. I'm going to bring the puppy in here. Um, because she's just... I don't know why she's so unhappy. Every other time I've done a stream at this time recently, she's just slept. But I'll be right back. Oh, so hey, Format. I didn't say hi for doing the stream. Thanks for jumping in. brought her in. I've set her bed up. She's currently deciding she doesn't want to sit on the bed and she's leaving the room. So we'll just have to see what we have to do. Um, didn't Albin have an attack that hits the whole front row? Albin does, I think. Um, we can check that really quickly. Albin has um, rolling axe. Uh, attack a row of enemies with multiple hits and fix physical defense minus 15. It only does 40 physical potency, but you're right. It would actually work really nicely with Killing Chain. I could change that to um, Row with Most Combatants, for example. And then there'd have to be more than... Ah, there we go. I'd have to... I'd go with Row with three plus Combatants and he'll use it. Do we think that's the best way to go with it? Well, we'll try that out. Okay. So you're capturing here. Let's get you to intercept these guys. Um... You're coming forward. We've got nobody coming up from the south just now. There's probably some enemies in this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, Clarvo a Farsight Crystal. I'm just going to check to see if there's enemy any enemies hiding in this forest. Okay, there are no enemies in that forest. That's good to know. Um, and then our knights, I think they're all stacked on top of each other here. Let's see if we give them a ride. Oh, Pupper Big Scoots, thank you. There we go. She's, she's just gone away now. I don't know where she is. She's probably annoying my, my housemate. Alright, Lex's unit, we don't need to watch this fight. They're gonna wipe them out. What that is gonna mean, though, is Lex's unit is now out of energy. I don't think they'll keep moving. No, we have to rest them. They should be fine there, though. So we have to deal with this group here. Um, I just noticed that Elaine has recovered from their rest. Let's put um, Albin just guarding here. 
And then we'll bring these guys forward. They can't quite wipe out a knight unit at the moment, but we'll bring them to here. Um, and then let's actually bring Sharon's unit to here. And we'll bring Rolf's unit to here as well. Just so they can cover. We're starting to build up a lot of um, Valor points, which I want to kind of sit on for a little bit longer. Oh, hang on, hang on. What just happened there? They bounced off them. I didn't really want that to happen. They moved so quickly. Um, at the moment, Sharon's unit is going to intercept these this cavalry. You know what? Let's get them some experience. That's actually a really good idea. If I fight them, we can just bully them while they're on the ground. Let's get Alvin's unit to go for these guys. Um, okay. Let's see how this works, because I've, I've got that new attack. So let's see how the rolling axe goes. So we've got a rolling axe attack. Okay, that actually did quite a lot. And now the kill change is going to go through all three of them, right? Yeah, okay, that's nuts. Great pick, um, Mishaps. That's a really good catch. That's going to change things up considerably. I'm just going to check the dog hasn't gotten onto my bed, which she's not allowed to do, which I think she has done. I'll be right back. We're a bit worried about the winner. We're a bit worried about the winner to that vote, but we'll see what happens. It's, it's going to be fun, if nothing else. Okay, so we're going to get Sharon's unit attacking here. You're all moving forward. Um, Albin's unit has three actions left, which is probably enough to take out Fort Grimond on their own. I wouldn't call it the worst ship, no. It's a good ship. It's just maybe not the right ship for the situation. The community likes to do that, though. That's the community's like special skill, is... Uh, Picking interesting choices. I would really like the clerics to get the kill here, but I think the knights are going to do it. <laughs> oh, they clipped Albin's unit. That's really annoying. Let's go steal an AP from them. Okay, this is going well so far. We are overleveled for sure. We do have some enemies coming in from the south, I've just noticed. So let's re send a lane this way i'm also going to send our flying units oh yes they didn't get a kill on them let's send them in there these guys are almost recovered um let's just make sure that rolf and sharon do not get caught up in this um lex should be back in action pretty soon yeah there's a there's a 130 millimeter version is available, which I will probably end up using, but we'll see. I might just try to use the 180 for the memes. It might be good fun. The rolling axe suggestion mishaps. Amazing. There's a lot of dodging to do here. Can't wait to promote uh, Tristan. He's so nuts. The best tank in the game, because he doesn't take damage. Okay, puppies lay down on her bed now. Interesting, she's using heavy slashes here instead of quick attacks. So maybe we just need to tweak her her pa her uh, programming a little bit. You should be able to win this on one attack. Um, I think we're good for everybody else. I can't. It's too difficult with the saves in High Fleet Neutronius to do that. Once you kind of commit, you commit. That's the end of this garrison. Easy. Legs are quick on me. Oh, he hasn't got enough um, action points to actually take the town. So you need to rest. You guys are almost ready to leave. Uh, Alain's got the fighting going over here. Okay, cool. 
I don't want to do that, Nook. I don't want to get into the habit of doing that. I want to keep the campaign as one save. I don't want to mess around, if that makes sense. I'm here too. That's interesting. So again, if I use range assist, I take more damage. I'll lend you my aid. Yeah, I don't want to be doing anything like that. I like that the rain is still going on. It lasts a long time. Alright, she's sleeping now. She's just laid down next to me and she's asleep. So you might hear her snoring soon. Alright, let's keep pushing. Wipe these guys out. Everyone else is resting. Let's bring you down a little bit. Heading there now. Uh, and then when they hit four, we're just going to skip this fight. We know what the outcome of this fight is going to be. I could do it from a fleet HQ. That's correct. That's true. I could do that. Finish them off. Oh, we've got new deployments. Okay. These rebels are stronger than I could ever have expected. Perhaps so, but there's little point in hesitating now. We have only one path left, and it lies directly forward, to battle. More knights from the Order, it would seem. Allow us to speak to them, Your Highness. Okay, so we need to get um, this guy to speak to them. Your villainy ends here. Right, we'll just auto-resolve this fight as well. Big skirmish in the forest right now. Victory grows ever closer. Let's pull a lane back. To me. Let's get... Adele. Adele needs to grab this. Healing fawn, okay. And then I want to grab them again, and I need to get them to talk to these guys. And I'm actually going to... Is it faster to teleport them? I'm going to use a... I don't think I actually have any... Um, I don't have any feathers left, do I? No, I don't. Uh, Wind Fairy's Charm doesn't require assist attacks. I don't have any feathers, so what we're going to do is we're going to get Lex's unit to capture the... Or by the time they get there, it's probably not going to matter. Um, right, we'll get this fight hap to happen. Oh, they're using the Defined Effigy. That's not cool. They're not allowed to use the magic holy power of... Um, oh, so I was going to kill these guys before, and now I'm not. That's not cool either. Um... Not sure what to do here. I guess we just have to take the hit and retreat. So what goes wrong here? Oh, she left. We don't know where she's gone. I just didn't have time, Noak. I'm really tight on time at the moment. Really tight on time. I wonder what happened to change the stats on this. Because when I when I um, I, when I previewed the fight originally, when the archers were still alive, we were going to win this. But now we're not. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. What I'm going to do is... Oh, God, they got knocked into Rolf's unit. Okay, Rolf's unit's going to get the kill. That's fine. Time is really hard for me at the moment, Noak. It's really, really tough. Okay, you guys need to rest. What you guys need to do is head this way. And as soon as you're in range... Oh, so they're actually going to go... Sl okay, we've got seven. Um, let's get you to do a hasten call on yourselves to get you out of the battle. Can I... Yeah. We didn't have range... It doesn't factor range support into the previews. That's really important because it always throws them off. Um, let's... Keep you running... Okay, I was going to teleport you over, but that's not going to do anything now. Got a Jew of Warding, that's cool. Okay, hang on, hang on. Stop, 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 stop. You need to come down here. You need to come down here. Um, and then, as soon as you can, I want you to do a hasten call on Adele's unit. Got it. Okay, that'll get them moving faster. Now you guys just pull back. 
Can you heal here? You can't heal here. Pull back to here, garrison it to heal. You move as fast as you can to talk to this guy. Um, and then everyone else kind of needs to pull back, but at the same time, I'm a little bit worried about Rolf getting wrecked here. Um, okay. The, the knights are all going to end up fighting each other. Okay, hang on. What we'll do is we'll actually get you to talk to these guys, because you're going to get there first. Okay, we got there in time. We got the talk. Phew. Cease this pointless conflict, Sir Knight. It's me, Adele. The whelp who abandoned us, you mean? Why have you returned to these lands? I travel now with His Highness Prince Elaine, lost son of Queen Elenia. With his army and support, we finally have the chance to reclaim our province. Will you join us in that fight? No. We shall never betray Lord Gaston. That's where your loyalty lies? What of your people? What of the pride? your pride as a knight of Corneria? Cornea. You truly know nothing, boy. The outbreak of war left my family with nothing. No land and no means of procuring food. I was but a moment from taking my own life, and those of my loved ones with it. When Lord Gaston extended his hand, he gave us bread, bade us eat and drink from his plentiful stores, and in doing so, redeemed our meager existences. And he continues to provide for us, even to this day. I would never turn my back on such a man. Alright. <laughs> Very well, my spear is the only reply I can offer you. Great. So we now have a disaster on our hand. We've got to deal with all of this cavalry. And it tells you that it needs to pull back because they're not strong enough to fight all this cavalry on their own. Oh, puppy. Okay, let's bring Lex forward. Let's bring Elaine forward. Um, Chloe, Sharon is coming forward to about here. If she just stops. I, it, sometimes it auto sticks on the unit when I don't want it to. That will have to do. Um, let's also, I think it's time to deploy Hodrick. I take on. And he's going to take him a while, but we'll bring him down too. You're going back to heal. Everyone else is okay. I've arrived. What do you want now? Okay, into some big fights. I'm just going to skip through a lot of these. They're not going to be that exciting to... Um... Right, maybe I should have tried with Clive. You're right. I don't think it would have made a difference, honestly. Hey, Lightning. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. I didn't see you join. I'm up. 40 damage. Yeah, that's fine. Kind of up to Elaine and Lex here, but Elaine's already down to two. We'll probably have to use some smoke nuts on on Elaine just to give him some extra PP. Just need one more attack in this squad and they'll do a lot of work. But she's back again. She's just very unsettled this morning, which is interesting. Just wants to be everywhere. A big problem she has is she th if she thinks something's happening and she's missing out on it, she gets really upset. Can I get you to come in here and it's actually, what about these guys? I'll be 14 on them. Those archers at the back are gonna be a problem soon. Oh, a bane unit's not doing anything. Uh, grab this, first of all. Chloe is in range-ish. Bring her to here. And let's get Elaine attacking these guys. Whew. These fights, this is pretty a lot of fighting. It's just crazy. I haven't had this intense amount of combat in this game yet. If we kill one of these, I think Lex's Shaman will get a level up, so let's keep pushing. Um, we don't need a kill on um, Elaine though, so let's get Albin down to fight some of these guys. I want Elaine to actually really push for these um, archers. Didn't really want Elaine to get that kill, but oh well. Elaine needs to rest now. Well, we'll use some smoke nuts on him if he gets into another fight. I die at peace, so my life should protect those I love. Okay. So it's going to be sad whenever we kill these people. Um, just endless fighting. You don't stand a chance. Is that a level up? Fight on my brothers for the sake of our lord. Not a level up. Alright, we'll keep pushing with Lex. Lex definitely needs a level up here. Do your worst.
The archers aren't doing any support fire, which is interesting. At least I die in service of a just cause. <laughs> really say the word. There's another unit coming up. They can actually wipe them out, so I'll get them to push for that, because that's got some experience for them. Um, I want this to be Lex's unit. There we go. And this should get them to level up. Yeah, I will do that, Lightning. Don't worry. I'll get them in the, in the woods before they rest. Lord Gaston, watch over my wife and son in my absence. Still no level ups, which is annoying. Um, can you guys wipe out these archers? Yeah, you can. So you go after the archers. The archers are finally helping out. I'm going to put Lex into the forest and rest him. I shall become the Frostbot. <laughs> uh, that's fine. You just wipe them out. Still no level up? That was a lanes unit. Whoops. The lanes unit and Lexus unit got mixed up there. Damn. Okay, you're going to have to rest here because you can't move now. You guys grab this and rest. Uh, everyone else is moving down. Chloe needs to keep moving down. She can come to about here. We've got access to Rolf again. He can move here. Albane's taking for ages to get up there. Farsight Crystal. Interesting. Please tell me you will still wipe these guys out. Excellent. Oh, puppy. She just barked at my face. I think I need to put her to bed. Because she's being very bad. How can I assist? Pull back and rest. Um, okay, you guys grab that thing and rest. That's fine. You guys can now head down this way. Let me just sort the dog out. She'll be back in two seconds asking for attention again because I just put her back in her bed. Um, right, let's unpause. Oh, a camping set. That's really useful. Well, we don't need to use that right now. Let's rest. And then what we're going to do is as soon as these guys have recovered a little bit, one more time, we're going to use the rain. And we have to be careful because these guys have access to the Divine Thunder. And I don't know what that does and I kind of want to wipe them out as soon as I can. All right. All the knights have moved. Okay, you guys are back in action mostly. So come here, use this. Everyone else is resting. And they can come and make use of the rain as well. I was making sure I had actually unmuted my mic, which was what I was worried about for a second there. No, don't do that. Move. Get down here into the rain. Let's just bring... Stream chat up again. Sorry about all the disruptions uh, today, everybody. Hey, Alright, we're gonna have to just rely on the soldiers to do some fighting. Hang on a second. Um, right, you need to rest. You are active, so come down to here. 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 Rolf is active, so come down to here, and then Lex is active, so come down to here. And what I want to do is, as soon as I'm in range, we're going to start hitting up some people with some hasten calls. Actually, I can get Albin Judah with a hasten call right now, which is huge. Yeah, don't worry, no, no, but Valor I can use for special skills. Not I'm kind of holding on to it for the end of the fight when we get to the enemy, um, but I'm using it now to get some speed boosts on my units. Looks like I win. Okay. I Oh, what's this? Bandit Scout. Can I talk to them? I can fight them. What about Tristan's unit? Where's Tristan's unit? This unit here. Why are there Bandit Scouts here? How much damage can you do to them? You'll get wiped out by them. I'm going to send Albin's unit in to find out what's going on with these bandit scouts, because this is interesting. Yep. That's very, very interesting that that's there. And then you should be able to now do a hasten call on a lanes unit to get them moving forward. Stronger 
than ever. Perfect. And then let's get them heading here. To me. I've arrived. You're done for. There's no text for the bandits. But there are just some bandits on the map. Never seen a third faction on a map before. Oof, big hit. Well, at least we got him with a heavy slash. But it all misses with the evade. Oh, we got a hit at the end, okay. Let's finish these bandits off and see what we get. I'm actually going to get this unit to do that. They're not going to do any damage to them. Okay, this is going to have to be Alvin's unit. Uh, they're about to Zerg rush this town. We're about to hit the Thunder Totem. Let's keep going. Right, I'm just going to skip the fight, but I'm wondering if anything happens when we get the kill. Nothing happens. I feel like I've missed something with that Bandit Scout. I feel like there's something there. We've got a Miracle Field out of it. That's a free level up. Just, just a bit weird that that was there, you know? I fear I can fight no further for now. Okay, so we're starting to lose cavalry because they're hitting the town. Your villainy ends here. We've got a ranged assist for this. Still not enough to take them out, though. Archers do counter rogues, yes. That's why my rogue has the ability to, um, to counter archers. I think I need to get one of my people in on um, that town attack soon because otherwise we're probably going to lose all of the knights attacking the town. Magic Missile's cool. I like Magic Missile. That's what I'm trying to get around a little bit here. Okay. So we're going to send... Because he's got the speed boost. We're going to send a lane here. Lex can finish off the Thunder place. And then we'll just keep moving our healers... And our archers forward. And then if we keep moving you here, what I'm going to do is... Can you give me a hasten call on Podrick's unit? Because it's super slow. And we'll get Hodrick's unit, which hasn't done anything yet this fight, to head down here. And I think we just keep going. Right, Lex's unit will wipe these guys out. We don't need to see the fight. We got to level up on the Shaman, finally. What's she got for, got for us? Plus one physical attack, plus one evasion, plus one initiative. Nothing that exciting. Okay, I now have access to damage and temporarily immobilize all nearby units. That sounds nuts. Let's grab that. Okay, Lane's in. Does he have range support? He does. And we'll do a healing assist as well. Because this looks like a really hard fight. Are you really tired? No, you should go to bed then. Don't worry about staying up if you're, if you're getting really, really tired. Guard Hunter's so good. Yeah, these guys are set up to beat knights. The three um, House Carls will wreck knights with their Guard Breaker attacks. We had a leg spike there, oh dear. Killing the main guard makes us a little easier, though. Yeah, she probably did. And another great magic missile attack. So many party blows. Good dodge. And there's a healing assist with a crit heal. Very nice. Alright, and let's just push Elaine back in to finish the town. To me. Is everybody else moving down? I think they are. Okay. The knight's got it. Uh, let's send the thunder this way and see what happens. And then we need to get Elaine in here to capture the town. You finally have stamina back, so head down here. Oh, that was awful voice acting. Not, like, bad voice acting, I just don't like the voice. No offense to the voice actor. Who's my target? Understood. I'm up. Your orders, my leash. Received. Ah, trying the stream stop that quick. I do, I do see that, actually. I can restart that. If I go into here, edit, uh, do that, and that should reset the chat, and it should kick into gear. 
Local Lord does ration our food, yes. I can't claim anyone has actually got hungry for it. Not to say I don't support the liberation, though. This is weird. Here, this is for you. It's like people aren't as upset about this guy's rule as, as um, I thought they were going to be. Yeah, more for me. You shall go I can still see the chat, yeah. Hodrick's, Hodrick's first battle of the uh, stream. Hodrick's student needs some experience, so I'm going to get them to do a few fights here. Long thrust on the wrong, wrong row, unfortunately. Cat's back, good. Never break. I shall be your shield at once. Who else needs to move forward? I don't think we need another thunder at this point, so let's go. Yes, sir. Um, you're resting there. You're moving forward. You need to keep moving forward as well. I really need to get you some experience, but you're just a little bit too weak to put into a lot of fights. You need to rest. All right. I've arrived. You greet again, I guess. People living near Gaston were fed. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. I think that's exactly what it is. I think you've 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 hit the nail on the head there, TRM. Keep your focus. This attack has a hundred percent chance to hit, actually. So I should also have um, I should also have my rogue use his toughness ability when there's flying units. That's annoying. Ah, but Fire Burst. Fire Burst is good. Keep pushing forward, Hodrick. You're fine for now. Um, everyone else is moving forward at the moment. Except for Rolf's unit. Could you just skip this, actually? That's a level up for mummy issues. Could you perhaps praise me a bit? <laughs> Magic 18. Magic defense. Okay, that's good. Uh, do we want to hold at this point or do we want to keep pushing forward? Honestly, just keep pushing forward. You guys are doing great work. It is a very weird setup. I don't know why he would do that. Um, you're resting here. Let's actually just move you forward. You don't need to hide there. We're doing really well on Valor. We're going to just dump a whole ton of Valor skills at the end here. I don't think I need to push too much further or harder. Against the knights. If I give you a... No, I don't have any boost attack at this point. I've got an offensive draft, but no offensive ones. That's fine. Just keep just keep pushing forward, Hodrick. Yeah, Fibrous is crazy good. Oh, no. You need to make more money. It's 50 for a TTS, I think. Keep your focus. I need to check what I've set it to. Oh, it must be 150 for a TTS. Maybe it's too high. Maybe that's why nobody's using it. Maybe I need to drop the price of it. Maybe vote down to 100. I should get it to say how much it is actually worth when it says you don't have enough points. Okay, Hodrick's just going to town on these guys. We'll just skip this one. Hodrick squad, a good squad. None shall ever harm you. Now, I'm going to take a risk here. I'm going to finish these guys off. Everyone else should catch up. The Thunder's doing great work. I'm just preparing my 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 distance. Ooh, t ram in with the challenge. You have to challenge. I think you just do exclamation mark challenge. It's always a bit awkward, the challenges. Right, you guys rest. Um, let's get everyone else up. So you to here. Um... Do you need something? Rolf's unit to here. Did you need Sharon's that? unit to here. How can I assist? Adele's unit to Did here. We'll get you guys to I'm here. There. And then everyone else is moving forward. I've arrived. No. I think do you have to put an amount down on that you're challenging? We've had to do this, we've had to look this up a couple times. Okay. Nokes worked. 
I think you need the full stop. The full stop is what you didn't have, TRM. There's a full stop at the end of Nook's name. Okay, we've got just got this unit here. We're gonna send. I actually want the, these guys to get the kill, so we're gonna send Morgane's unit in here. What should I do now? And we'll also get them to do a hasten call just to hurry them up. Noah has merged victorious with a hundred um, channel points. Ready. You got it. We march onward. Interesting. You go really slow. Oh, hello, hello, whiskey cat. One of the cats has come to visit me. <laughs> Aggressive no, charity. Vessel H says, praise for mommy issues. <laughs> Indeed. Moderator murder for stream talking privileges is an interesting one. God. The frontline unit just dies every time with this group. But that's at least a kill, and I think that's a level up for the knight. Yes, it is. With a terrible level up for him. Okay, you guys need to fall back and heal. Okay, let's just push to the end. Let's get this battle over with. On it. The time is at hand. To me. I'm prepared for anything. My steed is swift Who's than my the wind. Adele, your voice box are giving me like um that guy that teleports behind you vibes. I'm ready. I'm here too. Perfect. The range assist, this is an easy kill for Lex's team. It's also night time, if you notice, in game. How are we doing for time, actually? I haven't kept an eye on the time. Easy kill for Le Lexington's unit. Okay, we have tons of time left. Excellent. Hello, cats. There's a cat on the desk just now. You might hear lots of bonking and, and walking around. Um, let's just wait for everyone to move up. Ready. That was hit. That was him jumping off the desk. That noise. Can I assist? I ride at once. Oh, I knew something was going to happen. I meant time in the mission mishaps. This province is ours, monster. We'll abide by your rule no longer. Huh? Do you understand what you're doing here? You espouse your grand ideals, yet wage a war of ambition all the same. One which will drive your people to famine and starvation. A laughable accusation. They suffer beneath your fist, not ours. Enough. Even the best of intentions can be twisted and gnarled by the foul cloud of hunger. It is a fearsome scourge which can ravage the land, and all that matters now is the spelling it for good. Okay. I think if you do exclamation mark time, by the way, you can, uh, it, the stream will actually tell you how long I've been live for. It might be time. Uh, exactly. <laughs> TRM got, got it. Okay. Um... So what we got here, it's a four man unit, three knights. So we want to hit them with some night breakers. Um, we definitely want to make sure Sharon is in range. We definitely want to make sure Albin would be a good, oh, Albin would not be a good opener here. I think whoever we send in first is going to take a lot of damage, unfortunately. Um, Hodrick might be a good choice, but it's going to give him a while to get there. Um, I also want to hit them with some ranged attacks. So um, I think you have a ranged attack you can do. No, they've got the mobility, Laura. That's right. Oh, she also has teleport. I need to remember that they have teleport. We have wild rush. Damage all enemies with a designated range. Um, what do you have? Uh, life aid, wild rush. Okay. And then this unit here doesn't have anything that expensive. Apart from clairvoyance, which doesn't do much here. Um, Rolf's unit does have the ability to do an arrow rain. Um, which isn't huge, but at least stop them spawning units. Doesn't do much damage, but it stops some spawning stuff because now they're on a healing cycle. Um, and then we'll just bring everyone else up as close as we can. Also, the knights, the knights are all going to start hitting as well. We're going to send a lane's unit in first, so they're going to do the most damage, and then we're probably going to follow up with Albin's unit once we've dealt with the front row. What should I do now? As long as Rolf is in range for ranged assist, and we've got healing assist as well. None shall ever pillage my locker. The rebels are led by a simple child. Know this boy. Lay hands on my. This guy's so obsessed with rations. They are the people's 
those rations, stolen from their starving hands. It is for their sake that I demand you abdicate your post. Vile oppressor of these lands. Gaston, was it? And what provinces have you governed? Ooh. It would be far more vile to avert my gaze from the hellish famine rapping at our gates. But you caused the famine. Go on, then. <laughs> Maybe. I don't think we're going to see him again, honestly. Guard Hunter, such a good skill. Good dodge. And a wild rush, nice. We'll get a magic missile next as well, which probably won't do a lot of damage. Okay, they're all a bit low on health. Exactly, a TRM. We actually came out of that quite nicely. Alright, we've still got quite a lot of Valor. Let's get a lane to drop a Valorous Order, which I should have done beforehand. That's a huge buff to everybody. He also has Royal Order, which is an XP buff, which doesn't really do much here. Um, what else do we have available to us? Provoke Gravity, lots of different healing options. Summon Warriors, Plunder, Clairvoyance, Teleport. So there's nothing else I really want to play off here. Um, let's see who it hits in next. Should be Elaine, Al Albin's unit. So Elaine's unit is back in, but who else do we have? Sharon is no use. Adele's is no use. Lex doesn't do a lot. Albin's unit has the kill. All right, let's get the kill. No, Wild Rush is good against a whole ton of units. I'm happy with him using it. Because it gets the back line, and the back line's important to hit. Here we go. 34 crit, and she's going to go again with a killing chain next, I think. I love how Trishan taunts every time. Easy. This Lanch next. She's nuts. The fact that this is my only unit that doesn't really have any healing issues is crazy. 12 physical attack, 130 accuracy, up to 55 evasion base, 29 initiative, wow. Plus one physical attack, plus one physical defense, plus one evasion, that's great. We've got a Baroque shield, which isn't great. That's it. And mission complete. That wasn't too bad. Honors are a big one here. We need lots of honors. Yes, he's got very powerful legs. And is, has no armor. But that's gonna happen here. What a horrible way to go. My precious stores all left to rot. You only can do assaulting lance if you get a kill, Nook. You stole from the very people you were supposed to protect, glutton. You truly know nothing. I only it is a weird leg. Our reserves for the impending famine. Famine? How do you mean? Look around you. This ceaseless strife will bring shortages, sure as the snow in winter. And so the music swell. Only greet those prepared. Promise me something, Prince. If you do take the crown, he was a good guy all along. To it that your people never have to go hungry as a child i knew far too well the endless gnawing that could befall an empty stomach tis a feeling i'd like not to greet again though yes i suppose i've already taken my last bite <laughs> dice Interesting. Lots of black and white stuff going on with the side stories in this game. Okay. Huge area unlocked. Recruit Short Spear, Quenching Amulet, and Ashen Blue Knights. Regalia. 15 Renown. 
At last, a fresh start for the Ashen Blue Knights. Things may be chaotic at first, but we governed here once before. I've no doubt the Order is up to task. I should be free to begin my own journey with no regrets. Indeed, what an old fellow. Now, permit me to join your ranks, Your Highness, a Delta Liberation Army. And we do not get any of those other knights. All right, first of all, very quickly, I'm just going to loot this area, and then I've got to upgrade some of my units. This is a few things to grab here. This will take a couple seconds. So we're gonna add Sharon. Ooh, we're gonna add Sharon into um, Elaine's unit, I think. Well, I've got a rapport conversation here. Elaine and Clive. If I may, Clive, how would you feel about joining my royal guard after peace is restored to our land? Joseph has told me much of the groundwork you laid in establishing the liberation. The many moons you and he labored in hopes of one day repelling Zenoria's onslaught. Such strength of will would prove invaluable in my service. I'm certain of that. Your Highness, I, I am truly honored to hear you utter such praise. And as you may know, I have little left to call my own in this world. No family to speak of and no retainers to my name. Yes, that is precisely why I must return home at the conclusion of this war. To take street of my land, a father gave us to blood. I keep saying Sharon instead of Scarlet. I know, I'm so bad. My mother and sister would surely have wanted the same had they only lived to see the day. Very well. I'll not fault you for respecting their wishes. All I ask is that you continue to march beside us as that day comes. As if I could ever wish for anything else, I swear it on my very name, Your Highness. And I thank you for believing my we me worthy of a place among your royal guard. Tis a badge I shall wear with pride for the rest of my days. Cool. Yeah, she just ran past the room. Okay, we'll grab... We've got another report conversation available. Just grabbing all this stuff, all these stuff and things. Okay, well, since we're here, we're going to expand units. We're going to expand the size of this unit to four members. And we can now add a unit to it. So we're going to add... Um, now, we're opening ourselves up to some dangerous stuff because we can actually take damage straight through, but we're going to add Scarlet to this group. Now, what's Scarlet's equipment like? Mm, okay, she's got a bronze staff and she's got... Scarlet's Ribbon, which gives her Quick Heal. So interesting, she doesn't have Quick Heal as a default skill, which most Priestesses have. She's a Priestess. What are these? They're Clerics. So she's actually a different class. She's um, something different. So she has Holy Light, which does damage to armored units, which is actually really good to have in this group. Um, can we upgrade her staff? We give her a Baroque Rod. That gives her plus 5 accuracy and higher magic attack. So let's do that. And we still have an accessory slot available here. Evasion plus 20, max HP plus 10, 100% gold earned, physical attack plus 8%, or just some defense. Let's give her the evasion. There's nothing else she really needs right now. Um, and we'll start leveling her up, because she's only level 2, so it's going to take a while before she's leveled up. Something else I was just thinking about was this unit here has a knight in it who is fine, but we actually have access to Miriam, who's a Radiant Knight, and I'd actually like to level her up. So I'm going to put her in the squad instead. Whoops, I meant to give her some equipment. Because she's... Oh, she's got the Rose Knight Sword, which um, gives plus relation to plus 10 accuracy. The Blessed Round Shield. Okay, she actually has some amazing um, equipment. And then she's got Poison Cure, Magic Barrier, and she's got Attack a Single Enemy. It grants the user plus one passive if the attack hits. So she'd be quite good to have additional passive abilities. What if we got rid of the detoxifying amulet and gave her a really cool um, secondary? Like Sorcerer's Connection, is, there's no mage in this group. Giving Warcry. Crew Tacit for Warcry, that's really, really good. And we'll just set that. Can I set Warcry to just kick off at the start of a fight? Activate it at the start of battle, cool. Maybe swap out Hammer Lady for the Knight again. That way it's a full cavalry squad that can go fast. The Hammer Lady does give me the ability for this squad to do damage to um, armored units, though, without it. These guys don't actually do anything against armored units, which is something I'm a little bit worried about. Which also reminds me, I need to upgrade um, Albin's um, scripting so that he also uses toughness if there is a flying enemy. Um, where is it? Enemies present. If there's a flying enemy present. Elvin flag enemies present because they can also 100% hit him. Otherwise, he won't use it. Okay. Let's just finish clearing out this area. Um, and then we're going to head into the Dragonlands. Uh, deliveries. Oh, good. I can upgrade this town. Have some apples. I was going to start saving up for... Um, all right, Nook. Thank you so much for hanging out. It's been great. 
Have a nice morning, exactly. I'll go play to work again, thanks to you. I owe my livelihood to this liberation. Let's station a guard here. We'll station Bruno. Um, anything interesting to buy? Blue spectacles. Accuracy plus 20%. Mercy eye patch. Crit rate plus 20%. Interesting. Don't even have to ask. Okay, where are we going for the map? Uh, this is where I need to head to. So let's teleport to Fort Lontaria. And we are on the wrong side of the river. We're on the wrong side of the river. We did head this way. <laughs> Predictable. Nice. Oh, <laughs> thanks, T-Ram. Thanks for holding out for the Scaladies. <laughs> I really appreciate you. See you, Snook. Have a great day. Okay, this is a bit concerning. There's just a lot of stuff wrecked over here. And here we are, the gates to the Dragonlands. Let's save the game before we head through. I don't think there are there actually Scaladies in this game. I don't think there are. I could be very wrong though. Damned rebels, my wyvern shall tear you apart. The battle for Mir. Okay, well, I guess we're just deploying to the stage. Though the Mir checkpoint has long stood on Dragonhold's defense against the possible Cornelian invasion, it has now fallen into Zenorian hands. Defeat them and lay claim to the colossal gate. <laughs> something, something. Scaladies, here we come. <laughs> Thanks, TRM. Thank you so much. Remind Rebels. yourself that <laughs> overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. No matter. We'll just have to show them what we do to those who defy us. This is like a very close combat fight. We're going to use this to get Scarlet some experience. I don't know what you're talking about with overconfidence. This is the battlefield. This is it. It's just us to there. Um, so let's deploy a lane unit. Uh, I've got three. Let's bring Albin's unit onto the battlefield as well. They can take out the tower. And I'm wondering if we bring Rolf's unit to give some... Or do we bring more games unit to get them some experience? <laughs> Scality Malady. Oh my goodness, Notornius. That's so, so bad. Alright, you guys take out the, t the archers. You guys move down here. And you guys give us come covering fire from the forest. Right. Hang on, stop. Okay, there they hit them anyway. I'm here too. We're gonna take some damage here. See what these wyverns are like. I'm here to help. Oh dear, we're gonna miss a lot, aren't we? Ground counter? What? Thank you, Scarlet. Oh, we're gonna lose Clive. Yeah, they took Clive out. All buffs removed. Interesting. Okay, we didn't. Okay, they counter every attack. No, they've got PP. They counter the attack. That's pretty nasty. Okay, um, we'll get Rolf to maybe. F Actually, I think Rolf's unit might be great against them. Understood. Um, and then Elaine's unit took a lot of hits there. We're going to have to use a Revival Orb on Clive. And I'm also going to use a Healing Tonic on Clive just to make sure that we're back in the fight. We march. You guys just stick close here. Yeah. Griffin Squad might be a good shout. Okay, we're going to take... A, what we're going to do is Albin June's going to take these guys out then withdraw. And we'll bring in the Griffin Squad. There's like a special hunter in the back there. He's highlighted. Now, we, did we use toughness? I don't know if he used toughness. He didn't. Why did he not use toughness? He's supposed to use toughness if there's ranged enemies. And he didn't do it. Right, let's get the squad out of here. They've done their job and got rid of the archers. You got it. Good. I never miss my. Your villainy ends here. I'll support you. We'll get a we'll get a win here. Go on then. Okay, 
Okay, that's better. We got the hit that time. Yeah, she does that she does big damage lightning. She does big damage. This might hit the back row as well. Okay, going for going for Clive as again. I'm here to help. We arrive. See the wild rush gets the person in the back row, and that's why it's really good. Nice. Okay, that's one group Griffin squad down. A level up for Scarlet, Magistuf, and Evasion. And then Noix units should take out the other flying unit when they move forward. Sorry, not Noix units. Elaine can do it, but let's get Rolf's squad the experience. Oof, that's a big hit. Oh, but he can heal himself, of course. Yeah, she's super low level. It's an it's an JRPG trope though. They give you a really powerful unit at a really low level, so you've got to babysit them for ages. It's like getting a low level Pokemon. Okay, now the problem we've got here is that this command post is going to produce more units soon, and I don't really want it to. But I don't really have the valor points to. Um, you're gonna get wiped. Oh, you're gonna do decent damage. Let's bring you and you down here. Heading there now. And let's bring in our Griffin squad. If nothing else, to get them some experience. Where's my prey? You got orders for me? I doubt they're going to do a lot of damage here, no. But they could probably go in after a lane and maybe get a kill. All right, we're going to. What's next? Now it's okay, we're going we're gonna to have to have a fight here. Oh, who are these guys? I've not seen these guys before. Zenorian sword bearers. All right, let's see how they fight. Good point on archers in the tower lightning. Oh, these guys look cool. Following Slash. Okay, they've got a counter-attack. No, they've got a passive attack. That's crazy. Yeah, it's, that's a passive they're using. They haven't used their AP yet. Not a lot of health, though. Didn't get to see what their standard attack is like. Alright. Let's put our archers in the tower. They should have range from there. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use another healing tonic, get Clive up to health, and we're going to move in and attack the garrison. We're going to take a lot of damage here, but we should be able to finish them off. Your villainy, Especially with ranged assist. Oh, you think they're the stacks? Their swords are much... I don't think they are because they're specifically Zenorian sword bearers. We'll find out. Good block. Nice guard. Let me. My magic is yours. Can't dodge that one though. Light. Ouch. Oh, she has 27 hit points already. That's more than the uh, the, the um, witch, who is a lot higher level. I doubt he's going to hit here. He did, but didn't do any damage. Okay. All right, let's see how our flying squad does. Oh, they are not going to do well here. Um, damn, that's a lot of damage. I think we should have to send the lane squad in again. We're just going to keep leveling Scarlet up, I guess. We'll use... I've got seven item uses left, so let's just keep pumping them back. We'll, we'll revive you, and we'll use a healing font. And we'll just send the lane unit in again. And if they're still alive, we'll get the flag squatted. Wow, we're not going to do any damage here. Hmm. Because they're... Who's my target? Because they're, they're in the air, we're not actually hitting them. Do you know who could who could turn the tide here, who has the ability to hit flying units. It's Hodrick. I take arms. How shall I proceed? This squad could do it. Received. So we'll just get you to hold. The time is at hand. I still want you to move, so just stay here. Good. I've arrived. I'm a bit worried about the archers not having range. Hang on, don't attack. Just wait here. 
the position is ours. Right, do you have range? Yes, you do. Excellent. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right, unfortunately, they're going to get a heal. But we're going to try again in a second. Oh, actually, time is also running out. All right, Hodrick's unit coming in to do tons of damage. Excellent. And then we can bring in the, hopefully bring in the Griffin Knights to get the final kill. Wow, that was a big hit. Holy crap. I am not used to uh, Hodrick taking damage like that. Don't die. Okay, he didn't die. Hodrick can't miss. And the fire burst finish. Level up on reset. That's nice. Oh, big, amazing level up on reset. Fizz attack, fizz death, magic death, accuracy, evasion. Very nice. Now, can my wyverns get the kill here? <laughs> no. Then Elaine's going to finish the fight. We might have to do some test battles. To, I might do some test battles off screen to level my um, level my my Griffin squad up because they're just really struggling to do anything. Go on, I think he's gonna miss. Yeah. Wow! One hit kill on Clive. These guys are tough. These Trident Wyvern Knights do uh, uh, really disrupt formations. We need more true hit in the squad. Oh, level up for Lane. And a level up for Scarlet. Yeah. Magic attack, magic defense, evasion, crit rate, fist attack. Okay. Magic attack on her. That's fine. And we won the battle. That wasn't too bad, that one. I about to say, we just started 20 honors, but no, we have 24 honors. We definitely need to get those honors up to get more four-man squads. Oh, that's the Queen's armor. Do mine eyes deceive me, Virginia? You were but a teenager when last we met, but now you stand a prince. What is that armor set? A lot can change in ten years. Indeed it can. I'm relieved to see you safe. The same to you. When our scouts brought word of your army's approach, I knew I had to verify the report for myself. Scouts, my lady? But I was led to believe you were in hiding. <sighs> I was sent here to Drakenhold ten years past. As a refugee, when Galerius brandished his sword against our family, <laughs> was that the lady? in the care of their second prince, Gilbert, ever since. Forgive me for not coming to your aid sooner. There's nothing to forgive. My attendant Leia sees my every need fulfilled. Oh, anymore. her attendant Leia, the and they called them best the friends. <laughs> yes, yes. Go on then. The good Prince Gilbert is currently amassing troops at Balmrate in hopes of recapturing his castle. We ask that you and your soldiers cooperate in that siege. But what class is she? Must surely meet the jewelist? Your commander. She looks like a jewelist. We solicit an audience? Is that a half cape? She has a half cape. I almost forgot. Where is he? Huh? It's been too long, Virginia. Yeah, that's what I was just singing mishaps, yeah. <laughs> I barely recognized you. Girl. Now, Elaine, she's your cousin. You know, I can still remember when you were just a babe at your mother's breast. And now look at you, even taller than I am. I believe I was seven when last we met, and weaned for years by then. What I mean to say is, I'm proud of you. That, and that my blade belongs to this liberation of yours from. We've got so many new units. I don't know how we're going to fit them in. Ladyship, please. It's got a really long grip, that sword, Miss Apps. A really long grip. Is it maybe a bastard sword? Is it a hand and a half sword? It's not got thick enough to blade, though. 
Though, I admit, I owe him quite a lot for what he's done. I don't plan on letting that debt go unpaid. Which is exactly why Elaine here is going to help us, yes? Everybody wins by my count. Satisfied? If not, there's always room at my side for a hard-to-please attendant. <laughs> Sorry, I was... Her blade is so thick, it makes that blade look really, really thin in comparison. Are you sure about this? She seems more like a windstorm than a princess. <laughs> Queen Elania often spoke of how young Virginia reminded her so... Sorry, I was unplugging my controller. And I must say, the resemblance is striking. <laughs> That's my chair. I'm sorry. Your sister than cousin to me, in truth. Whenever I needed an ear, hers was the first I'd pull. Well, D and D three point five and D and D five fifth edition let you do wield long uh, wield long sword in two hands. For the kindness you've shown Virginia all these years, I know she can be a bit difficult. They've also kind of construed uh, short swords as gladiuses. Cornea's aid is a beacon of light in our darkest hour. I missed that uh, lightning. Actually, what was the comment? And that of the glory of Drakenhold. Virginia joined the Liberation Army. Leia joined the Liberation Army. Okay, so we have so many units. I might actually need to make a new squad. I'm actually a little bit overwhelmed by how many new units we have and how much customization I need to do to our people. Let's have a look at them. My mere checkpoint is there is no longer your highness. We should be free to pass through whenever we please. Hard to please ten and gotcha. All right. Uh, hang on. This is what I want to do. Character list. Okay. So they'll be at the bottom because they just joined us. We've got Virginia. She is a Crusader. So she has Iron Crusher. Ignores 50% defense versus armored targets, plus 50 potency versus armored targets. So she's an armored unit killer. She also has a vertical edge. Attack an in a single enemy, becomes a true strike, ignores 50% defense, and adds. So she's a armor killer and a flying killer. And she has Royal Guard, which is the same ability that. Um, Elaine has, and I believe that's something that only like that's a, that's a nobility ability. Then we have Leia. Leia is a sword fighter. She has keen edge. Attack a single enemy with a critical strike. Crit rate plus fifty percent, and it's a guaranteed hit. And then she has haste and strike. Activate the start of a battle. Attack a single enemy with a first strike. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point, Antilles. We may need to go back and do that. Yeah, and you're almost thinking you're right about the reshuffle of the Griffin unit. Both of these two. Virginia and Leia look nuts. Um, I want to use both of them. Just where do I put them is the question. What do I do with these units? Uh, what does the blue rose shields do? Guard of plus 25%. Oh, she actually has two shield slots because she wields two shields. That's hilarious. Ah, uh, the blue rose shield is what's giving her royal guard. Okay. And then she gets dual shield. Allies within range do not incur attacks or first strikes. Damage all enemy within range, and then Leia's is quick impetus, impetus which is um, increased addition by 20. <laughs> it's the anti-aircraft slab of metal sword approximation. Okay, that's a lot to take in. Um, if we have a look at the world map, we can't... I don't think we can do the Cornarian capital. I think that's out of bounds for us. But there is um, the walled city of Barbatimo we can try and liberate, and Fort Paradis as well as Swarm Town, Lazare Town, um, and the Montre Libre Church. There's also some quests along here that I haven't picked up yet. Um, mainly, oh no, these are the, that's the Atlas, and that's oh, Fix the Bridge. But I could head up north here and do this battle. Hey, nice guys, yeah. So there is a battle up north of here. Um, the question is, do I save up my 32 honors to get myself a another four-person squad? Or do I unlock another unit um, and use that to use to get some of our new units into the into the game? I'm really not sure what the best play is. Increasing the max size of units means we can start slotting these units into other places, which would be quite useful. For instance, um, this unit here could really do with another damage dealer, probably the Swordbreaker or the Swordfighter. 
We could also pick up another archer. We could pick up another cleric. This unit here definitely needs to be rebuilt and redesigned. It's not doing great at the moment. Um, this unit's nuts. This unit's doing fine. Hordrick's unit is slow, so adding a, a cavalry unit to it would increase their speed, which would be quite useful. Big circle around the, the capital city. Plenty of issues left the first zone. Okay, you think bigger units make more sense. So the other question is, do we want to slot any of these new units in at the moment? More units gives you access to strategic valor skills cheaper. What do you mean by that, mishaps? Do you mean more units as in more squads or more units as more people? Big units mean more combat power, but slow. Okay, you, you clarified. That's good. Need larger groups going forward too, I think. More units also means more stamina to spend. That's a good point. That, I think mishaps makes a very good argument for having at least one more unit because what that means is I can cycle units in the front line and I can also deploy units rather than sitting on the Valor points. Lex could indeed do with more damage. Lex's unit is easily fixed by removing the Shaman. Um, oops. If we remove the Shaman from Lex's unit and replace it with a damage dealer, I think they're sorted. Uh, we can put the Shaman in back in our pocket. I think we're gonna, I think I'm gonna unlock one more unit. And then from that point onwards, we're only gonna make units bigger. But I'm gonna make that a three slot unit straight away. I get what you're saying, Night Skies. I get what everyone else is saying about being ahead of the curve. But I think this is the right choice in terms of getting ourselves ready. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, first I'm gonna take the Shaman out of um, this unit. Uh, then we're gonna reshuffle more gains unit here. So for the moment, I wanna take Miriam, oops. I wanna take Miriam and I'm gonna take her out. So I think Morgane is fine in the unit um, to give them flight. This I want this to be a flight unit. In terms of unit, people we can deploy, I think um, I can't sort by people who aren't in squads, which is annoying. But people who aren't in squads, we've got the Shaman, we've got Nina, Dennis, Fran, Miriam, Kitra, Adele, Virginia, and Leah. So I'm thinking we could actually put both of the Griffin Knights in this squad. Or we could go with Dennis and Miriam and just make it a very, very fast squad. Dennis gives them the ability to kill um, normal infantry. Miriam gives them anti-magic um, attacks. And then Morgane is killing rogues. The only thing they can't deal with is armored units. I think I might try that. Now, who do we want in the front here? I actually think we want, more, we want her in the front. So that's actually... Uh, I want to move her. Reposition is square. I think I want to set the unit up like that because she's very tanky and the others are not. And then we've got high swing, counter. So she does have counter. Um, Sorting Lance, quick guide, and then war cry, magic barrier. Double Gryphonites will make this group nice and fast. That's true, TRM, but I think doubling up on a unit isn't... The, I, I think I want to diversify rather than specialize if that makes sense because now they can go after archers they can go after wizards which they couldn't do um with double griffinites i don't think um you know what instead of using dennis actually if i remove him uh, with this button nope uh, how do i remove him i think we'd be give them adele since they're named or just okay uh, i'll give it a try we'll bring faran in as well for now okay then for Lex's unit, I think it's either Leah or Virginia. I think Virginia will give them the ability to attack and deal with armored units. They, As long as the Griffin is the leader Lightning Dragon, they get fly. Doesn't matter where it is in the unit. So what do we think about putting um, Virginia in Lex's unit? Is that going to be good enough? I think we need to try it like that. And then for the last unit, we've got Kitra. So Lee is definitely going in this unit. I want to use her. Thing is, I think I think Leah would be really good in Lex's unit as well. So she's great. She's got a true strike. So she's great at dealing with fly units and she's great at dealing with rogues. Okay. So then if we bring in Kitra or Nina, uh, she's level seven, she's level eight. That's good against dealing with defensive units. 
Um, and then I could guess I could drop a Dell in for now. That gives him some speed. I think we go with that for that unit there. Alright, let's save the game. I think we'll get one more battle in this stream. So let's see what the battle up here is like. Damned Rebels, you think this town is yours for the taking? Well, it isn't. Not by the Spear of Mind starts true. The Battle for Lysia. The Liberation Army sets out to defeat Marty and free Lysia Town from Zenorian rule. And they should let us level some people up. Adele's technically tanky, Lightning. You can fold late and later unless you have four people. That's a good point. Again, these. Ooh, Laurent. Again, these Zenorian. He's got a lance. Uh, gnaw at the fabric of our lands. No matter the knight errant Lawrence will sh He's a light errant. Oh my god, just a lone crusader. We'll see you exterminated down to the very last. That's a name I'm familiar with. Who is he? Not familiar with. I couldn't say, my prince. If nothing else, it would appear he wishes to fight on our side. It looks like all of his units are promoted. Um, he's got a promoted archer and a promoted house carl there. Okay, this looks like it's just going to be a, a, um, a very quick battle, which is perfect for right now. Let's try and deploy some of our newer units. So let's bring in... I want to use Morgane's unit, Leah's unit, and Lex's unit in this fight if I can. Um, so what are we dealing with? We've got some wizards here. This would be a good a good option for Morgane's unit. So we'll bring them in over here. Then we've got some heavy knights. So I think that might be a pretty good one for... We'll try Leah's unit against them. I'm a little bit worried that's not going to go great. And then I'm going to bring in Lex's unit as well as a backup. They will know what hit them. Let's see how that goes. And then I want to send you in here. Oh, I was hoping you would wreck them. You will actually wreck them, which is interesting. Can I get you to them first then? Get you some kills? We'll see how that goes. And then I'm going to send... So that's that's you. I'm going to send Lex down to deal with these wizards. Wow, okay, those wizards are a big problem. I'm guessing you can't do much against the wizards either. Let's see if Lauren does something against the wizards then. Lawrence not doing anything. Fantastic. Do I need to talk to Lawrence? No holding back. Okay, well, they're going to get magical assist, which will do some damage to us. But let's see how this fight goes. Okay, that didn't do much damage at all. No quarter. So it just puts her physical attack up. Okay. And every time she hits an enemy, she gets her PP back, which is could be really powerful. Oh wow, that high swing. Lauren is under my control, duh. I just assumed he would be an allied unit. Can you take out these wizards for me? Your decree made manifest. Awaiting your orders. Of course. What are we doing? I'm going. I don't care that Lauren's gonna take a lot of damage here because he's a XP sponge. Alright, nice guys, have a great uh, have a great time. Here's some advanced units for the first time. So that's an advanced house Carl. Damn. Advanced knight, I'm guessing. Wow, he fired, he shot two enemies with one shot. Yeah, that's a good a good shot, Miss Apps. Okay, you don't need to be using that attack when there's only one enemy. Just get yourself killed with magic counter. High swing killing chain seems like a thing, yeah. Killing chain, yeah, you're right, there's a great combo there. Alright, let's bring you guys back to heal. Um, and let's bring Lex forward. A dude with an actual lance. I thought you were going to do more damage than that a second ago. That's still not bad damage, though. Let's see how you guys perform. This isn't a great one for Leia, because this guy's heavily armored. And she's not a heavy armor killer. This is the person who does the heavy armor damage. Okay, they should be able to finish these guys off next. Sure thing. I stand ready. No damage. So I need to bring someone in here who can do a lot of damage to armored units. Uh, let's move you guys. What, what are you doing? I want you to move here and withdraw. 
Well oh, I see. I sent you guys back. Where should I begin? Six damage. I'm up. Six damage. Well, hmm. Gotta go. All right, who are we going to deploy here? A minor inconvenience. Who is going to get us through this? We could go with Albin's unit. We'll go with Lex's unit. Let's get Scarlet some level ups as well. They will be ours. Hey, Shinobi. How's it going? We Welcome march. aboard. That's not a one hand sword. She's swinging one handed. <laughs> Versus fiercely pressing the wrong buttons. Yeah, I'm a little bit... There's actually so little to do in this fight that I'm a little bit like, are we actually going to be able to win it? I want to use my lighter units, my newer units for this, but I'm worried that I'm going to have to rely on the units I always rely on. So, uh, what next? I'm ready to hit something. Come then. I'm here to help. <sighs> I love Guard Hunter, it's such a great skill. <laughs> See, having Scarlet in the squad is great because she adds healing and anti-armor support, which is fantastic. It's actually a great squad now because of that addition. Alright, let's see what Lex can do against these guys. They're going to do some pretty deep damage. Unfortunately, they're going to get a reinforcement out. Where should I begin? I'm off then. Okay, the reinforcement just charged out before I could react. 30 damage. Lex's unit will wipe them out. Excellent. Let's see how she fights. Well, that was silly. Standing in a row. So she's got very low initiative. Oh, she's got hero. She's hero coded for sure, though. Lex doesn't lose the fight. Next one to fight. Life aid revive. Oh wow! Look at the uh, AI using tactics. The time is at hand. Onward. Okay. This fight may prove you face me. We send a lane unit in first to weaken them. My magic is yours. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, it's okay. I was just bringing everyone close. Ah, Guard Hunter. And a nice wild rush. Oh, I didn't get the kill though, that's a shame. The magic missile will do it though. Good block. Where is Clive? He's just not on the battlefield right now. Oh, that's a shame because the magic missile would have dealt with him. The positioning of Scarlet's a bit problematic. Alright, so you are now not winning that fight. You are now winning the fight, so you're going in next. Just using Life Aid over and over again. Oh, that's really... I wasn't ready for that. Okay, now that's a big problem. Hmm. Concerning. What have we got here? Gravity regeneration. Allied units with 50% of HP at the end of battle. That's huge. Uh, what do we have here? Sure thing. Dual shield. Units within Allied will not incur assist attacks, or so that doesn't help us at all. Awaiting your orders. Heavy swing. Fist damage to all units within range. That might actually be quite good because what that will do is it should knock out the enemies that just got brought back up. So the enemies who got re resurrected there should now be down. Yes, okay, that worked. Yeah, I think that's right, Miss Tabs. Okay, that was a great use of a PP, of AP. Okay, I like this class. The Fast Sword uh, Master class is pretty cool. Can't believe they don't get a kill here, though. And we actually lose Adele. Amazing. I'm going to send them in again to get the win. To get the level up. Oh, we'll just... Oh, do we just want to send Lex in? Ready. Yeah, we'll send... Well, Lex doesn't need the XP. Now, I'm going to send in um, Leah's unit. You got it. Get them a kill. The time is at hand. Just stop here. The path is set. Now then. Can you keep up? Yeah, they got this. She's great for sniping enemies. Like this, before they can act. I'll not be defeated. 
Just need to get her a cool, a cool sword. Plus one physical attack, plus one accuracy. That was a good level up for her. And that's the mission complete. No, Princess Wife Victoria is level 10. So she wouldn't even get XP in this battle. Just what a man of a man is this Lawrence? Laurent. I think it's actually the correct way of pronouncing that name. Laurent. Easy little fight. Opens up some more of the map. Get a little bit of valor. Oh, sorry, honor. Building up to that 50, we need to make another squad bigger. When you click on units moving, you can right click once. Click, okay, thank you, TRM. I haven't noticed that. That's another five honors, and then another four honors. And 10 more renown. I think we get the ability to promote Renown B, by the way. Thank you for liberating our town, good sir. Now we can live in peace once more. All right, let's just see if we can upgrade this town. Yeah, we can. Which means I can now put a guard here. Everyone in the village is eternally grateful for your actions. 10 Renown. Give me honors, don't... Uh, Station a guard, and we'll put uh, Steph in here. And what do we have? Viper Shield gives poison immunity. Tailwind Cape gives quick action. What does quick action do? Activates at the start of a battle. Grants an ally plus 15 initiative for their next action. Interesting. You can set some stuff up with that. I can store another town, the Food Province one. Uh, which one was that? I think it was... It was one of these ones down here, wasn't it? This one here. Thanks, CTS. Also, welcome to the stream. I don't think I've seen you before. Wrong place. I need to go to deliveries. Yes, I can. Thank you. I picked up the sardines. Great catch. Some more honors. We thank you for your aid, Prince Elaine. 15 renown. And now I can station a guard. Put Sharon here. Okay, cool. Right. I am going to leave that stream here, but before our next stream, I'm going to just go around, buy equipment, buy healing items, work out where the rest of the battles in this area are, and we'll come up with... That's actually a different town? <laughs> okay. And I'll check all the other towns for upgrades as well. I'll go do that all off stream. Um, that'll give me something to do before our next one. But I think that's long enough for streaming today. We've been live for what? Um, just over two hours, which I'm slowly building up my stamina for longer and longer streams. Um, <laughs> and I think that's a good place to stop for now. I'm sorry there was so much disruption that we we're on in this stream. I'm, thank you all for hanging around and sticking with it. Um, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend if you got the weekend off. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to streaming more of this next week. Um, I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for hanging out. TRM, you are a legend. Thank you so much for the super chats. I can't thank you enough. Everybody else, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful time. Um, and I'll see you soon. Ciao for now. Bye. So abrupt with my finishes, aren't I? I need to be better at like just tailing a stream off rather than just going like, it's over. <laughs> and what I need is an end. I need a proper end thing. So rather than using this, I need a proper like the stream is ending screen that I can sit on and chat about. Um, but I'm always desperate to close the game, which is what part of the problem. But yeah, I'll catch you all later. Um, I'll see if I can do something about Nebulous tonight, but I'm not promising anything. It just depends on what my time is like. But I'll see you all later. Ciao.